Hey, what's up there everyone? Welcome to a brand new tutorial from Jordan JB Designs. Yeah, I finally have been able to make another one. It's been a little while. I'm trying to make more of these, but it's a little more difficult. So yeah, I mean, in this one, we're going to be making this uh, Keanu Reeves Ghost Rider poster. I'm going to show you right now. that was the poster uh, that's what we're going to be making in this tutorial step by step sort of I kind of bounce around from time to time I apologize for that <laughs> anyway so if you do hear some background noise I am upstairs in a kind of a noisy area like a little mini fridge that comes on and makes a lot of noise anyway I hope you you, you know this helps you out a little bit if you're, you're working on working with Photoshop yeah so anyway let's get started all right, so let's get into making this Keanu Reeves tutorial here. Yeah, we're making Keanu Reeves in the tutorial. <laughs> I meant the Ghost Rider tutorial with Keanu Reeves with Ghost Rider. So first, of course, you're gonna find your image of Keanu Reeves. You can find whatever one you wanna use. This one's just a little bit easier because it's kind of, you know, he's facing the camera and the skull is also facing the camera. So it's a little bit easier to work with. So then we have all our, uh, our star, you know, materials here, various flames and whatnot, and of course the skull. So we get canaries, as you saw earlier, I'm just going to, I brought them over and sized them up to fit the poster. Uh, the, po the size I am using is 1500 by 2250 pixels, uh, 300 resolution just because I never know if I'm going to print these out or not. In inches, that's five by seven and, and a half. Of course, use whatever size you like. I'm going to duplicate my background. I have trouble saying duplicate. I say it too fast, so I say duplicate. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to select everything within the poster parameters, and then I'm going to hit Command or Control J. I'm on a Mac, so I hit Command. If you're on a PC, it's going to be Control. So anytime I say Command, it'll be Control if you're on PC. It's pretty much the the lingo switch there. So now he fits the entire uh, poster frame <laughs> parameters. What I said earlier. Okay. Now we're going to hit right click. We're going to go to Convert to Smart Object. And there we go. Um, so that, basically, what that does is just allows you to add adjustments onto it without having to change the it's not like permanently on there so you can take them remove them, readjust them and everything so it's always good to kind of do that with your whatever you're working with all right so next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to make small adjustments to the to his picture here we can go up to filter camera raw filter and then yeah we're just going to add a little bit of clarity you don't want to go too much because then it turns out like that it looks really weird some people edit their photos to look just like this, and I have no idea why it looks bad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so just just a tiny bit, not a whole lot. A little bit of dehaze. Uh, I'm gonna bring down the texture, make them real smooth looking. Not that much. Uh, and then we're gonna kind of just make small adjustments here and there. Of course, you know, adjust it how you want. In the end, on yours, this is how I'm doing mine. A little bit of sharpening. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Actually, I'm going to bring down the exposure back down to zero. All right. Hit OK. Now I'm going to bring the skull over. And so what you're going to do is you're going to of course, bring it down to a reasonable size to where you can at least fit it in there. And then you can do this however you want. I'm just going to bring down the opacity so I can see Keanu Reeves behind it. And then I'm going to just adjust the skull to kind of fit what would roughly be his head size, <laughs> you know, because this isn't his actual skull. So we're not going to be able to fit it exactly. Let 
do a little bit of warp on it so that way we can adjust it to kind of we're just going to use this side over here this right side and then uh that's it so that looks fine good enough <laughs> uh bring the opacity back up and so now i am going to do some editing here and just kind of get to the point where the skull is already kind of cut out so that way you don't have to see me do all that it's basically i use the pen tool and then i go around and just cut out the skull and this side again it's not going to look perfect it's not going to match this side because i'm not going to use that side so we're going to end up erasing that part anyways Alright, so not everything selected. Like See, this side is not, doesn't look anywhere near as good because it's kind of in, in the shadows and uh, yeah, it's just kind of cut off and blurry. So after you have everything kind of selected like this, you're going to right click it, make selection. I do a 0.5 uh, feather radius just to give it a little bit of a softer edge. It's going to select it and then you can go over here and you're going to add a layer mask. And there we go. Look. <laughs> so now the skull is kind of cut out and uh, fits around his, his noggin there. So now what we got to do is we got to adjust it to make it look like he's kind of in the middle of trend, turning into Ghost Rider or vice versa, however you want to see it. So I'm going to actually right click this layer, turn that into a smart object as well. It is going to make it just to where I now I can't really cut out anymore or bring back the background. So you can do that or you can have turned it into a uh, smart object before you started cutting it out, which is what I should have done, but I forgot. <laughs> so now let's just make sure everything's lined up still. making small kind of movements here to again match up with his his head good and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another layer mask to it uh, we're gonna make sure the black is selected for the color we can grab a brush so this first part we're just gonna erase like a majority of it and now we're going to grab a kind of rough rougher brush you can grab on these um uh, like paint brush types and they're a little bit more rigid in the oops in their uh, edges there so that way when you do start kind of brushing away here it gives it that different feel to it So that way he kind of has this disintegration look like he's, like I said, like he's turning into Ghost Rider or he's turning back from Ghost Rider. So at this point you can, you know, cut out as much as you want or you can leave as much as you want. Just the size of the brush so that way it has a little bit of variation to it and it's not just a few solid colors there sorry if I'm a little bit quiet I'm just trying to get this part done all right, again, you can go back and always recolor and color more, or recolor, well, uh, add or take away more as much as you like. I'm just gonna take out this part here.
Alrighty. So that looks pretty good. <laughs> For now, anyways. And now we're gonna add just uh we're also gonna do a camera roll on this one so that way we can just adjust it slightly, just like we did with you know Reese more, it's just gonna bring up contrast. Uh Now, we are going to grab some fire layers. So this is the, like this kind of like fireball that I used for the inside of his eye. Get it, size it down. We're gonna zoom back in. And we're gonna size it down some more. The problem with this, it's kind of cut off so it's not a complete circle. So what we'll have to do is just, hopefully, see how this looks actually. It's a little bit better. So you can use that same brush and so that way the edges don't look so perfectly round whenever you kind of cut around it. Looks a little more, a little more natural, not a whole lot, but it works for what we're doing. So, with the, uh, the skull layer, what we're going to do is we're going to add a solid color. We're going to make it an orangish kind of red, real bright. Then, we're going to find the right blend mode to add this to it. We're not going to use it on the whole thing. We'll use overlay. We're gonna select the the layer mask over here, the white area. We hit Command I. And we turn it reverse. Grab a brush tool. X. So we're gonna have white in the foreground. And we are going to grab a a more just the soft brush, really soft brush. We're gonna bring the flow down. Fifty percent. We're gonna make sure we're still selecting the layer mask and then we're going to paint around the eye socket here. There we go. Make sure it's kind of like, looks like it's a little more infused within the, within his head. So another thing I did, um, that I forgot later on is I added like a white glow around it. So we'll do that a little bit later, but just so if, if I forget later, you can remember, add like a little white glow within the eye to, let's just do it now. So that way, that way you can do a solid color if you want again, just choose white. We're going to, uh, what is this called? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Command I, um, clip, we're gonna clip it to the, the layers, oh my gosh. So we grab a brush again. And do that. And if you want to take it away, you just gotta change the foreground color to black. And then just adjust it how you want. I change it to screen. If you hear a weird noise going on right now, it's the little mini fridge it's turning on and it's really annoying. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the uh, kind of the flames around uh, on his actual skull. I chose this one. Uh, most of these images I'm using, you can uh, find on uh, pixabay.com. You know, it's one of those, it's it's free to use and it's, it's, just, it's just really good. So I highly suggest looking into it. So we're gonna get the, we're gonna match it up as well as we can, as well as good as we can to, uh, to kind of like look like it's, like the wind is blowing from the left to the right. So we can get it roughly in that area. We'll adjust it some more later once we. So now I'm gonna change the blend mode to screen so that way you can see the background. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I got it for eyeballing it. That's not bad. 
So again, make adjustments where you need them. I'm going to add a curves to this to kind of brighten up the flames. And I'm also going to, what was I going to do? I'm going to change, make it less red and more kind of orangish or yellow. Sorry. Go to image adjustments. Color balance. Switch it to highlights. Just gonna bring up the yellow and the green. Big tones, bring up the yellow and the green. Kind of like that. Alrighty, so now we are going to also now convert it to a smart object because those adjustments that I just made, I'm not going to really change. So, uh, smart object, and then uh, we're going to add another layer mask to it. I'm going to grab a soft brush and we're going to paint out where we don't want it. go and now we are going to make some more adjustments to it command or control M and there we go and I'm going to take away this part here there we go looks pretty good so now that we got that, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to add a white out on his eye. So we're going to go up here, we're going to add a solid color, make it white. We're going to hit Command I, oops, Command I on the layer mask. Select layer mask, make sure we have white for the uh, foreground. And then actually I'm going to make sure it's a little more precise. Select it with the pen tool. After you got everything selected, right click, mask or make selection, hit OK. And we hit Shift F5 on mine to fill it. Or you can just go up to edit and fill. And then now I'm going to add a little bit of blur to this, not that much. About there. And we're gonna take away some of this little point here. Just take away it all take it all the way. And there we look like now his eyes kind of what it's, you know, like it's turning into ghost rider here. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get to grab uh this fire uh, layer, add it. Turn it kind of just to where it will now fit just over his eye. Again, we're going to go to blend mode. We're going to change it to screen. And we're going to kind of make it fit perfectly there. Convert it to a smart object. Add a layer mask. And then we're going to cut out all this stuff here. A little bit of the. This is bothering me. Hold on. So always make sure you got most of the. A little bit of the, the big fire over here. Anyway, uh, go back to the smaller flame. <clears throat> Can cut out some more so that way the sparks aren't too crazy there. Good. And now we are going to basically add the same 
color adjustments to make it look similar to this one, more red, orange, and fiery. Do that by removing the green for the most part. And then if you really wanted to stand out more, you can add another layer. <laughs> Duplicate the layer and yeah, it'll look a little more prominent. Actually, I might flip this that way. There we go. And that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add... I'm actually going to duplicate the, the main fire layer here because it was looking a little weak. Oh, no, don't do that. So once you do that, it is going to bring up some of these spots that you may not have gotten all the way so <clears throat> now we are going to excuse my throat clear <laughs> allergies have been bugging lately now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically kind of give uh, Keanu Reeves a orangish hue <laughs> so let's get a color balance adjustment layer a lot of yellow Bring in some red, green, not a whole lot of green. There you go, so he looks a little more. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, on the adjustment layer, color balance, we're gonna command eye on the layer mask, get another softer brush again make sure the foreground is white and we are going to this one is still bothering me <laughs> more of it gets revealed every time oh well that's good that means now i can see it and I can erase it. Good, good, good. Okay. Back to the Keanu Reeves layer here. We're gonna take all this back. <laughs> I'm gonna erase that. And we are just going to Command I. We'll make it all kind of orange. But for his skin to kind of more a little more a little more to it, we're going to add a color layer. Again, uh, more of that. An actual orange. Find a good pool. Let's bring down the flow. <laughs> Make sure we got white selected. A little more glow there. Right around the edges here of his. transition again more of this is showing up <laughs> ah, this happens so there we go I might actually oops Bring most of that. All right, so it's coming out pretty well, I think. 
So now what you can do is you can, of course, make adjustments on the skull layer. You can take away more, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to remove some of this here. Oh, went crazy on me. So that way the edges don't look so clean. There we go. I mean, that's kind of where you just want to leave it. You don't want to over edit. You don't want to do too much. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this one, drag it over to the very, very top. I am not going to like uh, clip it to anything. Gosh, I keep forgetting that. Change it to screen. Get kind of there. I am going to dupl duplicate that layer. Move it over. And it's going to look something like that. Again, this is not 100% finished. I'm also going to grab the skull layer. I'm going to duplicate that one. I'm going to clip it to the original skull. I am going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Colorize. I'm going to make it a more orange color like that. And I'm going to do an overlay blend mode. There we go. I'm just trying to make the edges not look so uniform and there we go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to make these two top uh, flame layers smart objects. They're going to go up to blur, Gaussian blur. And we're gonna make them a little out of focus. One thing I like to do with my posters and everything is I like to give it a little more depth. So that's why I add blurs and such to these things. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide those, go into this top layer. I'm gonna create a new layer, a little square with a plus in it. It's empty. I'm going to hold Command, Option, Shift, and E. It's going to take everything, every layer that I have, make it into one without, you know, flattening the whole thing. So you still have everything down here. You can make adjustments if you want, but now it's all one layer. I'm going to convert that one layer into a smart object. I'm going to go up to camera raw filter. We're just going to do a little bit of adjusting again. Darken it just a little bit. Gonna add actually a vignette around it. We're gonna add some green to it. How does that look? Yeah. All right, <laughs> we hit okay. Got our few adjustments there, and then we're also gonna go up to filter, blur gallery field blur with these we are going to the middle ones we're going to add go down to zero so that way his face and everything is in focus but on the edges here there 
you gotta make him blurry. And that's good enough for me. You can leave it at 15, you can adjust it how you want. But again, a little layer of depth to it. All right, and now just a few minor tweaks here and there, nothing too major. I'm not gonna change anything about what's going on with Keanu. And now I'm just gonna add a few. So once you've got it here, once you've gotten all the, you know, the skull looking right, the fly, fly, ugh, flames, my goodness, uh, looking spot on, then adjust where you want. And, you know, you can, of course, move the flames however you want. If you did that whole layer of step, then you have to go back, you know, to the original one, move it around, adjust it. You can use completely different flames if you want make it your own. Uh, it's a real simple, once you've got it down, it's real simple to kind of understand what really is selling this. And it's more of the kind of the, the color integration. So that to me, I don't know if that's a real phrase or not, but to me that, that, that helps it a lot to kind of make sure that the colors are all oops, syncing up and it looks half decent. So there you go. I mean, that's making Keanu Reeves look like he's turning into Ghost Rider. <laughs> so that is the, the last step. So this is the Ghost Rider titling I made for a different poster. We're going to grab it, bring it over. I just like it a little bit more. I'm going to leave it underneath the flame layers. I'm going to size it down. Don't save. Well, all right, that was the Keanu Reeves tutorial. Keanu Reeves Ghost Rider tutorial. I said this at the beginning. I said it probably throughout. Uh, I hope you learned something from this. You know, this is the tiny little bit, maybe a little, little something you didn't think about before, and it helps you create something really cool. So I am going to be doing more videos. I am going to be doing more tutorials, a lot more speed art, kind of doing some more actual video work i have one coming up showcasing my uh basically the stuff that i use to make the videos make the audio and make the podcast so yeah i'm working on that working on several things i hope you enjoyed this i hope it helped you and uh stick around for more hit that subscribe button you know all the stuff i'm not that charismatic to kind of uh, get people to be like hey subscribe to me that was really creepy i'm sorry <laughs> Anyway, I hope you subscribe. I hope you tell other people about my channel. Like the video. Leave a comment if you want. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Jordan James B. That's where I post all my, my artwork. So if you have something that you made that is, you know, from one of my tutorials, hey, let me know. Tag me in the posts and I'll check it out. I thank you again for, for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.